covenant with the Lord at some point or the other, so may God help us to be faithful in keeping the promise that we have made to him. Um, it's our turn now to sing together, and we'll be singing from CGS 19. Um, that will be our first song, and Sister Emma will be our song leader this morning. You are all um, welcome to the house of the Lord. Um, may God bless you. It's a beautiful morning, and may it be beautiful in all our souls. Yeah. We also want to welcome our internet audience uh, who might have been watching our services since we started our Sunday school, or if you are just joining, you haven't missed much. We thank God that you are able to find the time to join us today. We pray that God will bless you, even as you are part of this service. Um, we've had um, an organ and piano prelude from Brother Mike and Brother Godwin, and then we had the choir sing Constantly Abiding. And then we had that beautiful quartet sung by Brother Mike Brayo, Sister Faith, and Sister Tokwe. This morning, the Lord will bless us greatly. Amen. He will help us to renew our covenant with him. Yes. God bless you.
let's sing a chorus that says, we bring the sacrifice of praise into his house. Amen. Let's sing that chorus this morning. Wonderful. Yes. His name is wonderful, Jesus, my Lord. Amen. him something is going to happen yeah. so we want to praise him again this morning by singing hosanna 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 yeah. lift him up that's what we want to do this morning Jesus, I have promised. One, five, six.
which says, he gave to me a seal, and of the great debt I owe. And as he gave, he smiled and said, always remember me. We want to do that today by singing verses 1, 2, 4, and 5. 1, 2, 4, and 5. At the fifth verse, please, if we can stand, let's stand to be led in prayer. Our gracious Master and our God, we thank you because we know you're here. For where two or three are gathered together in your name, you promise to be in our midst. Lord, we can feel your spirit. We know that you're near us. You're near us to solve our problems, to break the yokes from off our shoulder. Because you are a burden bearer. Yes. We thank you for this wonderful love. The, world, the love that has called us from a world of sin. Yes. Into your presence. You. Where there is fullness of joy. Yes. And that's why we can lift up our voice. Yes. In those sacrifices of yes. praise. Yes. Thanking you for what wondrous things you've done for us. Yes. You've delivered us from accidents. You've brought us out from trouble. You've paid our debts. Lord, for this we are grateful. We thank you, O God Almighty, even for this Lord's day. 
a day of your manifestation. Yes. That you have brought us here safely. Yes. Lord, we are grateful. Amen. We commit the service into your mighty hand. Even your servant whom you have chosen to speak to us your word. We pray that your word will come out like seeds. Amen. Father, you make our heart that fertile ground. Amen. Where your word will grow. Amen. It will germinate and bear fru fruit. We pray that this morning you will rebuke the devourer. Amen. Lord, you will rebuke the devourer. Amen. That your word that will be planted in our lives. We shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that in season and out of season will be bearing fruits. Oh, Lord, do it for us. Lord, do it for us. We know that even as we are gathered, there are some that wish to be here, but they cannot be here because of sickness, because of one problem or the other. But they are looking up to you. Their help comes from you. Yes. Lord, we pray that you remember them. Amen. Wherever people are gathered in your name this day, Lord, we pray that you remember them. Amen. That as you're blessing us, you will bless them. Amen. We pray for the blessing of salvation. Amen. We pray for the purification of our hearts. Amen. Lord, sanctify us. Amen. We ask for that infilling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, pour it on us. Amen. Lord, heal the sick. Amen. Send us home rejoicing. Amen. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Our scripture reading for this morning devotional service shall be found in Exodus chapter 24, starting from verse 1 to 8. Exodus 24, 1. And he said unto Moses, Come up unto the Lord, thou and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off. Two. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. Three. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, and all the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice, and said, All the words which the Lord had said we will do. Amen. Four. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord and rose up early in the morning and builded an altar under the hill and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. Five. And he, said, and he sent young men of the children of Israel which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed, sacrificed peace offering of oxen unto the Lord. Six, and Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood is sprinkled on the altar. Seven, and he took the book of the covenant and read it in the audience of the people, and they said, All that the Lord had said, we will do, and be obedient. Eight, and the last, and Moses took the blood and sprinkle, sprinkle it on the people, and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord had made with you concerning all these words.
destroy your Bible with me. To Psalm 50, verse 5. The book of Psalm 50, verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Amen. Before we continue, we bring greetings to you from Nigeria. We fairly understand what is going in the United Kingdom for now, and we assure you of our prayer support. Amen. That God himself, yes. in honor of Jesus Christ, his son, Amen. and in honor of the founding, faith of the founding fathers of the United Kingdom, we preserve Amen. the covenant of peace and plenty Amen. and for the United Kingdom. Amen. One thing we should know that God rules in the affairs of men. Amen. And nobody has ever snatched kingdom from God because he's the creator of the universe. So blessed be the God of Abraham, Amen. the possessor of heaven and earth. Amen. The Lord will rise to our help. Amen. We honor the prayer of his saints. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. God placed something before us this morning, and that is preservation of the covenant. Amen. And that's the topic. Amen. Preservation Praise of God. the covenant. Amen. We want to look at Genesis chapter 9. I'm reading verse 9. Now I behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you. Verse 12. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I made between me and you, and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. Amen. 13. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. Amen. God is a covenant making God. Amen. He condescend. Highest in heaven to come so low to develop a relationship with his creatures, mankind. And we can see the trend is the fact that God wants the covenant to be preserved. Yes. Yes. So when he made this covenant, it's a covenant of preservation yes. of human race. The first world was full of wickedness. And in fury and in regret, God destroyed the first world. But then, he still preserved a race. He said, Thee have I found righteous. He preserved Nia and his family. May God make our families like that of the Noah. Because the wife, the children, the whole race was preserved in that. And then now we had the second world. Now, God now said, I'm going to preserve this second world. And so he made a covenant after a lot of sacrifices by Noah. See, don't forget our key verse that says, gather unto me all the saints who made covenant with me by sacrifice. That is at the consummation of time. See? So in this one that we read, Father, God said that, I'm going to preserve the human race. Amen. And for me not to violate this uh, uh, covenant and not to break it, I will put something that will make me remember all the time. Amen. So the instrument for preservation of any covenant is remembrance. Don't forget how it started. Don't forget. Bless it is when we forget yes. that we now go astray. So God now say, myself, being a God who is never a forgetting God, who is not humankind, said, I'm going to put a token. Amen. So he put a bow. 
I said, when I see this sin, I will remember always Amen. the covenant that I'm not going to destroy human race with flood. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. And from that generation, we now have Abraham coming out. So we have the Abrahamic covenant. We have the Noahic covenant. But it's all, preser- it's all about preservation. If we look at Abraham's uh, Genesis chapter 15. Chapter 15, after these things, verse 1, after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. What does that mean? Abraham is a pilgrim, a sojourner. And God knew that he's going to face many warfare. But God assured her that, don't fear. Amen. I am your shield. Yeah. Shield yeah. is an instrument of protection. Yes. That in all your warfare, I'm going to protect you. Amen. I say, I am your exceeding great reward. Yeah. That is, you don't need any other thing. I am the only one you need. Yes. Once you have God, you have gotten all. Yes. See, so that's what he told Abraham. I am your shield. And I am your exceeding great reward. Amen. May we never lose God. Amen. We can lose anything in this world. But don't lose your salvation. Because that is God in you. Don't lose that. So, and then he continued in verse 18. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt on the great river, river Ephrates. Okay, so we'll be summarizing our point because of time. So here, God made a promise that he's going to give Abraham the land and the seed. The land and what? And the seed, okay. So, and God says, not going to break that covenant. Now said, then blessings will follow. If you keep the covenant, blessings will follow. That is basic, because in Isaiah, God says, "I am God; I changeeth not." We are God. Say, God will not shift His grant. If you shift your ground, you go away, you come back to me, God, where he is. Yeah, that's true. Because he will not change his attribute. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, millions of people will be changing God. If God will have to change with your side, change to sweet you, change to sweet you, and then who is that God? His loving kindness is constant. Yes. His covenant is constant. Yes. He said, in Isaiah 54, he told the Israelites, he said, mountains may remove. But as for me, my loving kindness will remain with you. May that remain with the church of God. We should not forget to think of this term covenant because of our children. You see, there are synonyms that goes along with covenant. We have testament, vows, oath, promises, agreement, all those ones are all subsidiary of covenant. It involves what? It involves a binding agreement you see, between two or more people expressly for the performance of some action. So, and it involves, I will do this, you will do that, yeah. right? I will do this, you will do that, yeah. okay? If you don't fail on, my, on your part, I am never at, at any time a failure. I won't fail. Say, so God never fails. Yes. So yes. it's mankind that can shift here and there because of some circumstances. There are some circumstances that goes beyond the ability of man. We don't run for grace and for help. You will shift your grant. But God never shifts his grant. But he said, as long as you remain steadfast with me, my kindness will remain with you. My grace will remain with you. My mercy will replace with you. That is 
the boldness and confidence that we have mm. that our God is able yes. and that he changes not yes. and he's a loving God. Yes. So that is enough for us. Many things we are not sure of, but as for our God, we are sure of him. Amen. Amen. So this Abrahamic covenant too has to do with preservation. You see, God himself wants to preserve holy people yes. to himself. And then there is a talking to. Then he gave the talking of circumcision so that you will not forget. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that issue. Remember, forget. You see, if you forget, you go astray. If you remember, you will remain. Yeah. You see? So, so that forgetting will not set in, he said, I'm going to give you a circumcision. This is a talking. Mm -hmm. When he made covenant with uh, Israel too, he gave them Sabbath. That once it is the seventh day, you see, you have to come so that you will remember. Yeah. And that's why we also gather too. When we come here on Monday now, everybody want, we run here and there to make ends meet. Some may take 18 hours work, 24 hours work, round the clock. <laughs> but when it comes to the Lord's day, we must gather yeah. to remember yeah. always. Yeah. And we must come to the altar to remember how we started. May the Lord help us to do so. Amen. So, Jesus, see, that of David, he, said he gave him preservation, Davidic covenant. Why? To preserve the throne, to preserve the kingdom, that all the time, you see, that one is fulfilled in Jesus, that we will not find any man wanting. There will be one man who will sit on that throne forever and ever. Amen. Scepter shall not de depart from the house of Judah. Yeah. And that's why Jesus came from that lineage. So that all the kingdom will be preserved. Yeah. So at the consummation of time, it is sung by the angel that the kingdom belongs to God yeah. and the son and he shall reign forever and ever. Amen. So David now said, who am I? I am come from the bush, from following the sheep. How can I now sit on the throne? See? How will you do this for David? But God fulfilled it in the life of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I was saying that preservation of the covenant is our topic. At the Noahic covenant, it's all about preservation. Mm -hmm. Preservation of the woman race, for which we enjoy today. He said, I'm not going to sweep up this heart again in my fury with flood. Okay? So look at the level of our wickedness. But because God said he's not going to do that, he preserved the race. Okay? Mm -hmm. He preserve righteous people. Amen. That is why we are Abraham's seed. Amen. Holiness. Amen. Holy people. Amen. See? Amen. Glory be to his holy name. Amen. And then, in the Israel, he gave them the Ark of the Covenant. See? In that Ark of the Covenant, what is inside it? We have the word of God inside it. Yeah. We have the evidence of priesthood inside it. Yeah. And then we have God's provision yeah. in the wilderness inside it. So, and then that ark, you see, preservation. Israel will always preserve it. Yeah. When there is warfare, what they first of all take care of is the ark. Yes. Even when temple is to be destroyed, they want to take care of the ark. When the ark was snatched from them, you see, the priest fell down flat. Even a child that was born, they said, oh, you have this. I said, I'm not rejoicing because glory has departed from Israel. The ark of God is taken. And let me tell you one thing. You may forget so many things. Some fell sick. The memory is lost. But one thing one will not forget is that you can't forget your name. You, see, you can't forget your name. Wherever you go, the first identity is that people will say, what's your name? If you cannot say your name, then you are nowhere. <laughs> you are nowhere. So you have to say your name. And then the next thing, where do you come from? You see, we must tell our children where they came from. Amen. Amen. So that that will be preserved. Amen. So Jews in diaspora, they never mixed up. Yeah. God says that they will be like iron and clay that never came together. Wonderful. Wherever they are. And I want to tell you, as you sit here, you, when I came in, 
my eyes was opened, and I saw you as the Gentile Jew. Amen. I saw this congregation as what? The Amen. Gentile Jew. Amen. So, what is your responsibility? Because God himself, he, he, when you were exiled because of their sin, all right, well, apology, if I need to do so, many of us came here, possibly when things were not well at home, for one reason or the other, okay, all right. Then we came, just like things were not well with Jacob, Israel. Jacob is Israel, okay. The children of Israel, we are talking, they are descendants of Jacob, all right. Please give me time, let us look at Genesis chapter 28. Shall we all turn to Genesis 28? Verse 20, and Jacob vowed a vow, saying, I don't know, maybe that's your own vow too. If God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat, and remnant to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. Amen. And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. Amen. And of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tent unto thee. Amen. That's a vow. Yes. He was in trouble, he was running to find a refuge and say, God, where I'm going now, if you can give me food to eat, if you can give me clothes to wear, that I can even come back to my father's house. Mm -hmm. I know that when you came to London or United Kingdom, you see, that may be part of your prayer. Mm -hmm. I'm going now, I don't know what will become of me. But if you will bless me, you will be my God. Yeah. Okay. Now God would want you to remember that vow. Mm -hmm. So that when it is well with you, don't say, I have nothing to do with God again. God bless, bless you. Amen. I have nothing to do with the people of God again. Bless you. You, you collected it from the altar, he doesn't have nothing to do with the other again. How come that come to your life? And then did not become proud. And that's what happened to the Israelites. God sent Moses, warned them, you are going to the land full of milk and honey. When you get there and it's well with you, don't forget your God. Don't try their own God. Don't look into the way of their lives. God bless you, Amen. You are a peculiar race. Yes. I made a covenant with you. Yes. You are peculiar people. Yes. I want to preserve you. Only yes. people unto yes. myself. Yes. Don't get mixed up at all. Yes. Be separate. Yes. You are children of light. Yes. So, Genesis 35, we see in the life of Jacob. Let us look at Genesis 35. In the life of Jacob is a, is a consequence to what we read in the Chapter 28, and then I will read from verse 1. Please spare me time, I'm sorry. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel and dwell there, and make there an altar unto God that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Two, then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, put away the strange gods that are among you, yeah. and be clean, and change your garments. Amen. Three, and let us arise, Amen. and go up to Bethel, Amen. and I will make there an altar unto God, Amen. who answered me in Amen. the day of my distress, Amen. and was with me in the day I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand, and all their hearings which were in their hairs. And Jacob hid them under the oak, which was by second five. Look at that blessing that came. And they journeyed. And the terror of God was upon the city that was round about them. And they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. He said, when he was in trouble, he has made a vow to God. Now I'm settled. Okay, my children, 
this is the way. This is how we came here. Yeah. I was running away from Esau. I was facing death. And I slept in the bush. And terror dawned upon me. I had nothing to put on for a pillow but a stone. Now, Lord has made us to settle here. My children, come. Those strange things, take it away from you. Amen. My God didn't want that. Let's now let's come and worship God Amen. who answered me in the day of my distress. Amen. And the children obeyed because he gave them full explanation Amen. of all that happened. And the children gave glory to God. Amen. May the Lord help us to do so. Amen. Don't forget we are talking of preservation of the covenant. Amen. The preservation of the covenant we make. We are giving definition to covenant. The way God relates with Israelites, he likened it to Christian marriage. See, Christian marriage is an agreement for a lifetime. God's covenant is an agreement forever, everlasting. See, because life of human being is very short, but for that lifetime, there is no divorce. Mm. Because you have made the vow in the press, they say in the presence of God and in the presence of all these people. You see, when Paul was writing, he said, when you come to the assembly, know where you are. He said, you are in the presence of God. Yeah. You are in the presence of the innumerable angels. Yes. Are you in the presence of God with a consuming fire? Yeah. Don't just misbehave anyhow. Stay to the Lord of God. The one we read, Moses brought the Israelites together at Mount Sinai. And there were two objects. There is the book and the blood. The what? The book and what? And the blood. And he read the book. You see, to be my God means I want to be your commandant. Okay, whatever, that's why we have commandments. I want to be your God means I want to be your commandant. And you know in the military, you obey the last order. Yes. You will always tell your you will always tell your commander that I'm still lawyer. Yeah. yeah. See, every time you say I'm still what? I'm still no, lawyer. Yeah. You have to be loyal to God. Praise God. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you are lawyer, you see, more and more blessings of the military will yeah. come to you. Amen. They give you more ranks, more ranks. Amen. All right. That ranks. You see, if you have is a token. All right. If you have one star. Right? Those who have this cross or whatever they have will bow to you. If you have three stars, those who have one star will do what? No matter, you may be as tiny as I am, I may be big and you have only one star, and I have three. This token will just say, okay, sir. That is to say, son, sir. You have to obey. Okay. So this act of the covenant is a token. Wherever they take it for any warfare, they are always conqueror. Yes. Now, when the ark was taken from them, they took it to the house of Dagon. Dagon bowed down. Yes. They were surprised. How can you bow down? Then they said, maybe it's a mistake or whatever it is. Then they put it down. The following day, the thing broke. Yeah. What we said is, it's a stone. If you break on it, it will break your own hand. But if you allow it to fall on you, it will grind you to a powder. Mm-hmm. See? Because it's the ark of God. Look, if you stay with the covenant, you are typical of that ark of God. Amen. If you are righteous, wherever you go, yeah. all knees will bow. Sure. Amen. Because you are going right now with Jesus Christ. Amen. See? Amen. You will, you, all the knees will bow because you are ark of that covenant. Yes. What is in you? The word of God is in you. The priesthood is in you. And the priesthood makes you to pray. Makes you to come to the altar. Makes you to shed tears. And when you shed tears, when you go, the angels of God have gone ahead of you to give you victory. Well, how come now that children of covenant couldn't recognize themselves? That I am children of covenant. See? How come now you feel you are just like an ordinary person? Say so you are a peculiar people. Yes. Priesthood. Yes. Know who you are. Yes. That's why I say you can't forget your name. You must know who you are. Yes. I'm not talking of saying I'm Samuel, I'm Titus. But you say, 
I am children of the heavenly king. Yes. Then you now question yourself, am I? If you are in doubt, come to, you have to come to the altar and say, okay, I want to be. Yes. If you have lost the thing, you want to say, I want to be. Amen. Oh, may the Lord help us. Amen. All right. What makes people uh, break the covenant? Is, is, this thing worldwide is different, you see. There are continental differences. This is the continent of Europe, right? What makes people take away is quite different from the continent of Africa. It's quite different from the continent of America. See, in Africa, idolatry is sweeping anywhere, land of darkness. So idolatry plus idolatrous belief, all right, make people forget the covenant. Make people forget that they are saved. Make people forget that the, the, the blood of Jesus is upon their life. So when stories of idolatry comes, say, oh, uh, the, the, the best that sand there is, is a sign of the witch. You better run away. This one is wizard. You better run away. Satan brings it so that people will run away from their covenant, so that they will, they will, they will break the covenant and then pursue them into trouble. Yes, pursue them more and more into trouble, yes. taking them from fry pan into fire. Yes. But then, that may not be the problem in Europe. It may be the problem of pleasure, pleasures of this world. And it's a form of temptation that becomes asset in the hands of Satan to make people derail. You see, in some countries, it may be persecution. It's like in Asia, it's a persecution. They don't want to see Christians. But then, whatever it is, God wants us to be steadfast. Amen. God wants us to stay true. Amen. See, if it is that we enjoy pleasure, plenty, glory be to God. But that does not mean we should forget God. The more we should move closer to Him. Yes. May the Lord help us. Yes. In this gospel, I just appreciate God. This is my first time of coming to your midst. I attended the teachers' conference. I attended. Uh, Prayer meetings, I have been in the, I've seen that God has preserved a legacy for us. Amen. So, I'm telling you, I, my wife and I, we fitted in. Praise God. My wife sang in the orchestra. Amen. She sang in the choir. Amen. See, now if I come here now and I just heard, hallelujah, Touch your, touch your chest seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Please clap, clap, and clap, and clap, and bow and say, Lord Jesus, and say, stamp on the, on the Satan, and say seven times. One, two, three, four, five, seven. I will run away. I will run away. Because that is not the culture of the gospel that we want to preserve. But I heard the music, I was happy. See? The organ, the same. Amen. I came here, I found the altar. Amen. I came here, I found the pulpit. Amen. I came here, I found the priest. Amen. I came here, I found good-looking congregation. Amen. Oh, may God preserve this gospel Amen. for us. Amen. But then, we should also think that we must preserve it. Yes. And the only risk of not preserving was found in the book of Judges, time is not in our favor. He said, a generation came up. A generation came up. Because what great, great Abraham is that, I know he will teach his children. He will explain to his children. A generation came up that knew not God again. In Egypt, a generation came up, they said they didn't know Joseph again. I'm not praying for a situation where a generation will come. I will not know the God of their fathers. May God preserve our children in this race. Amen. And what do we do? We have to be, we will not be tired of telling them. He said, when you see them, tell them. When you are eating, tell them. When you are playing with them, tell them about it. When you are going this way, tell them about it. When they were in the Babylonian exile, they always tell their children, we do not belong to this land. We are Jews. Hallelujah. It was the sin of our father that brought us to this place. Amen. Amen. We don't bow to idols. Amen. 
So when fire came, they did not bow to idols. Because their parents have told them, you don't do this. When they brought that uh, delicious, sumptuous meal, which was offered to idols, they said, we don't take this in our house. We don't take this in our land. And because of that, God preserved them. Even up till now, God preserved that nation. God will preserve our children. God will preserve righteousness for our children. We have to preserve this covenant. What are the things that we should take note? See, I know there are things that you people cannot but preserve. Those of us who are citizens here, I don't know what form of token is giving you, whether it's a certificate or a seal, but that one that makes you become citizen of UK, do you play with it? No. Do you throw it anywhere for anybody to no. take? No. You can keep it somewhere. Yeah. This building that God gave us, it has a document yeah. to show that this building belongs to UN's fault. Yeah. It said, signed by Holt. I have covenanted that in consideration of the sum of one million pounds, this building that belongs to you and so on. That paper, you go and keep it somewhere. Yeah. You go and preserve it. So, in this way too, our Bible must be preserved. Amen. See the way God preserved this Bible. See, if you look, if you look at the thing, the, all the persecution that came so that English Bible will not come to us. But today we have the English Bible. Amen. Which means God is able to do so. Amen. He's able to preserve you. Amen. If you also preserve the covenant you have with you. Okay? Singing comes up. Because in the word of God, our faith grows strong. Yes. So if all you will now do is, you know, we are in danger of different ages. We have dark ages, we have stone ages, and so on. These ages is an information age. See, the revelation age is giving way. Yes, sir. At the revelation age, you can imagine when, when this woman, uh, Rebecca, had trouble, he had pregnancy, he had uh, twins, okay? There was trouble with him. The Bible says she went to the Lord and prayed, what is happening to me? Yes. In this information day, we have to go for scanning. It's not bad. The scanning will say twins are in you. But Revelation says the younger shall, shall the older one shall serve the younger one. Scanning cannot say that. Scanning cannot say that. So that is why in the Bible we have our revelation. Where God who sees the future, who sees the same future, is in the Bible. So when you are accustomed with your Bible, you don't throw it away, God will begin to reveal to you. Things that are eternal. Yeah. Where are you supposed not to go? Amen. Today we have the GPS that tells you turn right, turn left, turn right. Can only show you the address, yeah. but it cannot show you your destiny. Mm. So that is why we don't we have to preserve our Bible Amen. and the culture of Bible study and reading. Amen. May the Lord preserve that to us. Amen. Singing, very important. Yeah. That's our source of joy. Yeah. When you can sing, when there is sorrow, when you can sing through the sorrow, joy will come up. Because at salvation, it is that token that was given to us. It is joy. When you are saved, joy is planted in your heart. It supersedes gladness. When you buy your car, you are glad. Buy a house, you are glad. It's quite a good job, you are glad. But salvation brings the joy. Joy that the world never knows. When Jesus said, my joy I give to you. Yes. Not as the world gives it. No. I give so that you can have it abundantly. Yes. When you do not ignore the culture of singing, joy is retained in you. Amen. So we must teach our children all these songs. So by the grace of God, I want to say, God will help me as a director of publishing. I will think of how to send Watch and pray for you. Amen. Which are the singing for our children. Amen. May the Lord help you Amen. and help us too. Amen. The altar, we must preserve our altar. Amen. There are altar where people, because of idolatry, I told you there are continental differences. There are altar in Africa, they bring sugar cane, salt, uh, honey, and they say if you taste the honey, 
your life is, is like honey. You are, your life is sweet. If you take sugar cane, your life will be sweet. But these are altars we call mourners' benches, Amen. where you share your tears and repent Amen. and renew your covenant. Amen. And God will also renew the blessings for Amen. you. Amen. You should not ignore the fellowship. Because from the fellowship, our love increases. Yeah. See, it's the love of God. Yeah. Thank God for your key verse. Say, God commended his love towards us. Yes. Why we are yes in us, Christ done for us. Yes. If there is no fellowship, the love will begin to reduce. Yeah. And the brotherly love will, be, will not be preserved. Mm. See? And God hates that. What is the sin of the Edomites? It's because they deny the covenant of brotherhood. See, Esau and Jacob, we are twins. But Edomite was persecuting his twin brother. And God said he hates that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why in our fellowship, we must preserve this fellowship. Amen. Coming together for different meetings Amen. increases our bond of love. Amen. Amen. May the Lord preserve that for Amen. us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And then the sacrifices we are talking about said, gather my saints with me, yeah. those who will sacrifice. You see, if you study through the Bible, when God pronounced specific covenanted blessings, sacrifices precede it. Yes. When God told Abraham, in blessing, I will bless you. Yeah. Because Abraham surrendered Isaac, yeah. whom he loved, <laughs> things you love. If you throw it at the altar for the sake of the service of God, yes. God will return to you. Amen. May the Lord help us. Amen. Because of Amen. the time, we want to read Hebrews 13, and then we pray the Holy Ghost to help us. I want to read Hebrews 13. After that, because of time, we will now sing, and then we come to the altar and renew our covenant yes. and say we want to remember. You must remember how God saved you. And that's our testimony hours. Yes. Testimony make us to remember. Amen. If you are in the church for a whole year, you don't give your testimony, you are forgetting where you came from. It's part of our legacy. It's part of our thing we must keep. And remember how God saved us. I want to read Hebrews 13. Hebrews 13 from verse 20. Now the God of peace Amen. that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. that great shepherd of the sheep, Amen. through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Amen. Make you perfect in every good work. Amen. To do his will. Amen. Working in you. Amen. That which is worth pleasing in his sight. Amen. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. To whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us come and renew our progress.
Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord, for reminding us again today that covenant that we have made with you as individuals, that we will serve you, that we will love you, that we will worship you. Having brought us out of sin, Lord, we have covenanted that until we shall see you in glory, we will remain faithful. We pray, Lord God, that you will help us. As you have reminded us today, Lord, give us the grace that we will go back if we have lost our first love and we will recover that love. And Lord, you will help us to the end. As many as are yet to enter into this covenant of righteousness with you, as we all lift up our voices unto you now, Lord, we ask that you will please help such souls. And as they enter into this covenant with you, the grace and the ability to remain faithful, you will grant unto us all. Amen. Save souls, dear Lord God, Amen. and sanctify. Amen. Fill us with the Holy Ghost Amen. and fire. Amen. Deliver, O Lord God, Amen. and heal, and let your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen.